Hello, it's Shari here today, and I am going to be making this card in today's video. You may have seen this card, which was part of Lawn Fawn Inspiration Week. So today we're going to be duplicating the card using some different colored inks. So I'm going to be doing Distress Ink Blending, and I have my colors here in Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin, and Mustard Seed. And I'm going to be using some Distress Watercolored cardstock in the new wood grain texture. So I'm just going to do super speed here so you can see all my blending. It's going to be pretty splotchy at first, but I'm just going to kind of put in where I want those colors to be, and then you'll see I'll go back with each color and start blending them out. Now I wanted to use the Distress uh, Wood Grain cardstock on this one. I haven't used this paper before. I've had it, um, I bought it, and I haven't been able to use it on a project yet. And on the other card, what I actually did, if you don't have some wood grain cardstock like this here, um, I used the regular Distress Watercolor cardstock and blended my color. And then I ran it through my die cut machine with an embossing folder. So it has a texture too. It's kind of hard to see in the video. But you don't have to have textured cardstock like this. You could add texture to it after you blend the inks on. So you can see I'm just going back and forth here with all my colors until I get it nice and blended and it will smooth out a little bit as it dries. So here I have the one and a half inch circle, the new cross stitch circle stackable, and then I've cut some black circles just with the regular circle. So I've cut four of each, although I'm only gonna be using three. I've also cut a bunch of the scripty smile die here in some orange and some yellow and then one in black. So I'm going to do my little emoji smiles here, and I've got, picked out a couple smiley faces from the Make Me Smile die set. These are the larger faces, and I'm just going to tape those down with some post-it note tape and run them through my die cut machine to cut the little faces. I'm not centering them exactly. I'm kind of putting them a little bit more towards the top so that I've got some space to make some rosy cheeks and it doesn't look like it's too close to the bottom of the smile. So you can see here, and you can make them all the same, but I picked three different ones. And now I'm going to layer them on top of the black circles. Now these circles are the same size, so all the shapes match up, so it perfectly fits right on that black circle there. And once I've got them all adhered down here, I'll just set them aside so just dry for a minute. And we're going to add some rosy cheeks to them. So I'm going in with a blush pink Prismacolor pencil here, and I'm just making some little round dots. And I'm going to use uh, that blending stump you see there and some Gamsol, which is the odorless and mineral spirits, just to blend it out, just to make it look like rosy cheeks more than a circle. So once that Gamsol kind of evaporates from the paper, you can see that it kind of blends it out and the cheek kind of fades away. My favorite emoji on my iPhone is the one with the little rosy cheeks. Now I'm going to take all those scripty smile die cuts and I'm using a glue pin here because it's a very delicate die cut and I'm just going to start stacking them. I'm going to vary the color. I'm going to do an orange, then a yellow, then I'll do an orange. And then the black one's going to go on the very top. But this will make a nice thick die cut, and it'll have color on the sides if you look at it from the side. On the green card up there, you can't really see it because it's off the corner of the screen, but I actually did a rainbow. So I cut all the colors of the rainbow, and I stacked them in rainbow order with the black on top. And this one I just decided to stick with the yellow and the orange because I thought it would go very well with the bright colors of the background and all the warm colors. And I keep dropping my die cut face down and wiping the glue away. So I'll put the black one on top. And I'm using black on top because I really want that sentiment to pop off that brightly colored background. I'm also going to have to stack all the pieces for the dot of the eye. 
which I very carefully kept those aside and I'm carefully stacking those as well so that it will match the rest of my sentiment. You could also add something different for the dot of the eye, like um, an enamel dot or a gem or a jewel or an embellishment of some kind. So once I've got all those pieces stacked together, I'm going to start trimming down my panel here. I only trimmed it down, I think, um, an eighth of an inch on each side. Actually, it might be more like a sixteenth. So that it has a really, really thin border around it when I put it on the card base. I'm going to make sure I get adhesive on all four sides so that none of my corners try to pop up and adhesive down through the middle as well. And then I'm just going to center it up so you can see that really thin white frame around it. I actually really think that makes the colors pop really well too to frame it with that white. So I've put some foam squares on the back of all my little emoji smileys here and I'm just going to place them where I want them. I'm not sticking them down just yet. I want to go ahead and get the placement of my sentiment. So I'm just going to go in with some liquid glue and do a little thin line on the back. And adhere that down right where I want it. I kind of like that the S and the L sort of fit in between where those faces are. I think it fits really well with these round elements at the top. Now I can go ahead and put down my little smiley faces here. I put the little winky guy in the middle because he's a little different so that's why I like him in the middle. And then I've got the one with the eyelashes and then the really happy one with the open mouth on the other side. And then finally for a final touch I'm going to go in with my black wink of Stella pin. I can never do a card it seems without adding, adding some shimmer to it so I'm just adding a layer of that all across the smile sentiment. It's really hard to see on camera but it does shine when the light catches it. So there's the card. There's two versions of the same card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,